Alright guys, what's up? You already know what today is. It is Wheelie Wednesday again, and we're switching it up again. We're in another parking lot completely different from last time and all the weeks before. And we're also switching up the person that's here with me wheeling third person. We have Michael Bruner back, guys. You might remember him from some old videos. I feel like it's been like a year, bro. That's probably over-exaggerating, but Mike is back. Evan is in some pain. He hurt his back somehow, so Mike's taking his place this week. And maybe he'll take his place some other weeks too. You never know. But today, guys, I'm excited to finally get all of us moving on to the handbrake. I feel like you guys have kind of mastered the foot brake. Go ahead and click the iCard up here to watch the first video on how to wheel your Honda Grom. That'll teach you all the fundamentals for how to wheelie. But now we are moving on from using this little lever down here, your foot brake, to this little lever right here in the front, your handbrake. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm trying. So tonight we are going to be practicing what we call double peg wheelies. And it's basically, I'll have Mike show you right here, just, you're pretty much just standing on the back of the pegs, just like that. And it's pretty much just a clutch up wheelie, and then you use the handbrake to keep the wheel from going too far back. So, we're gonna get into it guys, and we're gonna make it as easy as possible. So, here we go. All right guys, and as usual, we're gonna start, by, what'd you say? Oh, a car. As usual, a car is interrupting us. All right guys, to start this tutorial off, since I said we we're using the handbrake, that lever right there that Mike's pulling, and not the foot brake, which is this lever right here, I'm going to kind of tell you where your fingers are gonna be and what's pulling which lever. So as Mike has his index finger right here, this is the clutch lever, just as you guys should normally be pulling it in and any of your other wheelies. And then he has his middle finger on his rear handbrake right there. So that's basically the setup for how to put your hand when you're doing a handbrake wheelie. So we're gonna get into it and show you guys it in action. Okay guys, and as usual, we're going to be rolling about five miles an hour to keep it safe on the Grom. Mike is going to hop on the back pegs for his wheelie, pull the clutch in, give it gas, and clutch out. So Mike's doing a wheelie now, and to keep it from going too far back, instead of his foot brake, he's obviously using the handbrake we just showed you guys, because clearly he does not have a foot free on his rear foot brake lever down there. So Mike right now is literally giving it throttle as usual and using this little handbrake lever we pointed out to you guys as the brake. So it's literally just taking place of your foot brake. It is now your handbrake. That's where it gets its name, obviously. So Mike's gonna go ahead and give us a second wheelie for you guys to kind of study here. So again, guys, he has his index finger pulling in the clutch and releasing, and his middle finger is covering the handbrake lever at all times, slightly pulling it in when he feels like he's going too far. So again, keep that in mind. It's just like your foot brake. Always cover your handbrake lever with your hand as the wheel's coming up. So index finger pulls in the clutch, and as you let it out, keep that middle finger on the handbrake lever ready to pull it in and out as you need it so you do not loop. It's the same thing as your foot brake. So always, always keep it covered and ready to go. And guys, if you like these Wheelie Wednesday episodes and you like the Wheelie series that we are doing through the whole summer, leave a like, guys. Let's get the video to a good thousand likes and leave a comment and let us know what other tricks you want us to teach you. Okay, guys, and for Mike's next wheelie, I'm following him on his right-hand side, which is his throttle side, so you can kind of watch his hand. To be honest, guys, double peg wheelies with the handbrake is pretty much the same process as the sit-down wheelie with your foot brake. All he's doing is giving it enough throttle to keep the wheel up and just enough handbrake to keep the wheel from going too far back. So again, if you feel it's going too far back, you tap the handbrake and the wheel will come right back down, nice and smooth as you saw Mike do right there. All right guys, now since we just covered some of the fundamentals for you guys of the double peg wheelies, what me and Mike are gonna do really quick before the video's done with is tell you some of the stuff you might be struggling with or going through when you transition from sit downs, foot brake, to double peg handbrake. Cause you're gonna feel, it's gonna feel weird at first. So we're gonna give you a little bit of an idea at what's going on here. One of the first things you guys are gonna notice is the wheel is gonna wanna come up a lot faster. And that's obvious because you're standing on the back of the pegs. You have no weight over the front as long as you're not leaning forward. So keep in mind, as you're first trying to get the wheel up, don't just rip the gas and go for it. Maybe give it a few test tries so the wheel doesn't just fly up because it's gonna come up fast, guys. So be careful with that. And then guys, for a last very important tip that Michael put out there and reminded me about was when you're doing double peg, in our opinion, you have a lot more control over the bike with manipulating it with your feet on the back. If you put weight on your right foot or left foot, that bike is gonna go that way. So you can see Mike was kind of wobbling back and forth. 
depending on how much pressure he has on one foot, the bike's gonna go that way. So keep that in mind. If you put heavy pressure on your right foot, it's going right. And if you put heavy pressure on your left foot, it's gonna go left. That's the way it goes. So if you're frustrated and you can't keep it in a straight line, try to even out the pressure on your feet. And obviously guys, this is very obvious. If you wanna do wheelies like this, you're gonna have to order the parts and get yourself a decent handbrake. I'm not gonna get into that and what kind you can get because there's so many different kinds. But obviously, don't go standing on your back pegs without a handbrake to pull in to protect you. And do not get a handbrake mixed up with your front brake lever on the right hand side. That is for your front tire, not the back. So before you try this, make sure to get yourself a legit rear handbrake set up on the back, do some research. And guys, also follow Michael's Instagram right here, the certified G, I put it here on the screen. Follow me on Instagram as well, it's up there in the left corner. Subscribe, leave a like, and we'll see you guys next time. Right, Michael? Next time.